Hello again, everyone. Um, I've been playing around with stencils again, and um, I wanted to see if I could get the effect of a layered stencil without actually having a layered stencil. So I started off with this die from Memory Box. I can't remember the name of the butterfly, but it's it's kind of a two a two piece one. And this is the back layer. There's a there's a top layer that fits on that's got you know lots of holes, the filigree layer. So I wanted to start with that. Um, I cut a little stencil from a piece of mylar with that. I do intend cutting it out in the end to put on the front of a card uh, with a, I fancied, a, a soft vellum layer over the top. But I wanted to try and get some interest in the inking for the bottom layer. So, two ways of doing this. I could um, do it directly onto a piece of card. Perhaps I'll try that. Let me try that. If I put this exactly over the hole, I have put a little of a repositionable spray on the back of this, which might be a bit downfall now because I'm just thinking of this. Let me just do, I want to try and use this as a kind of jig. I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let's get it exactly over the hole underneath. I think that's got it. It's funny how my mind changes as I go along. Now, if I put that into it, does it fit? I, need, need, I keep sticking, it's been so hot and sticky recently. I keep there it is. Okay, now if I want to keep that in position, let me just put some tape across the back. I don't know if this is going to work. We'll see. We will see. Okay, that should just hold it in position. Right. Now, my stencil actually is ready for me to start inking, isn't it? I, I wasn't going to do it this way at all, but it's funny how your mind goes on, isn't it? And I've chosen these two colours. Scattered straw and dried marigold. I um, cut a panel and I just die cut a background die from it. I don't remember where this is from. I'm sure somebody will remember. But that is what I put on behind. And I'm thinking I may put something like this behind it, depending on what it looks like. I've got another yellow there, but I think that's a bit too vivid. We'll see. It, <laughs> my mind changes as I go along, as you know. So, let me just start with the scattered straw. And I want to do that for the, the extremities of this butterfly. And then I'm going to use the dried um, marigold towards the center of it. I just love these soft, this is a gorgeous color, isn't it? Absolutely gorgeous. Right, that's that one. Now some dried marigold for towards the, the middle of the wings. I just want to just feather, feather this out into the, the rest of the wings. Need a bit more yellow just in over here. There we go. It is so pretty. We'll see. Um, I can always add some colour to that to go behind to make sure it tones. I have picked out a little body. I don't know if this belongs to this one. And I was thinking I would put that. I've cut a, a vellum top to put on like this. But I've got a bit, a few more tricks I, have, I want to have a try of. I was looking at a pink fresh uh, tr layered stencil of a butterfly and it's got kind of darker bits on the tips of the wings. I did wonder about doing it in black soot, maybe a big mistake. 
I suppose I could do the map. I don't know. Let's try. But the idea I had was this. A lot of them had little sort of scallopy bits. So I cut a small scallop circle from a piece of mylar. And I thought I could kind of put it like that. I've got a little bit of um, stick and spray repositionables uh, on the back of that. Um, I don't know whether to try. I don't know whether to try this or this. Let me try the black and just see. I've got a small, a small brush here just to do that. And let me just wipe the top of this. I don't want to transfer any. Right. This one here. A little one there. Me wipe it again. I just don't want it to transfer onto the, the next place I put it. And a little bit down at the bottom here of the lower wings. I don't know what this is going to look like. I was messing about this morning and I was using um, all sorts of bits of mylar, cutting bits out and sticking bits in, and, and I really got in such a pickle um, that I thought there must be a simpler way. So this is this is this is so so hopefully my simpler way. Let me just do the top of this, the tip of this wing, about there I would say. Okay, wipe it again. I don't know if this is a bright idea or not. My grandma used to have brain waves. <laughs> she thought she'd had a good idea. She'd, oh, I've had a brain wave, she'd say. I think that's about it. And the last one. Might look nice with a black body. Needs something on here now to be in keeping for the what what have, I was wondering what have I got for the veins of the of the butterfly they're always they've always got veins haven't they okay uh, so far so far I don't know if it's going to be all right when I take it out of the thing in my tight um I've, I did get out this crackle stamp I don't know if this crackle stamp would, would work let's just try it I might be going right away from my sort of soft ethereal by putting black over the butterfly, but we'll see, we'll see. Right. Oh. Okay. Let's see what we've got, shall we? It's not bad. It's not quite what I had in taste. The black has made it not quite what I had in my mind's eye, but it's kind of all right. Let's get this off the back. There we go. Now, let's have a black one of these. Uh, I've got a bit of black card just here. I'll cut out a, a body. Right. It's kind of layered, isn't it? It's not quite what I was saying. I'm, I'm going to try again, I think, presently, and to, to, to get... um. Uh, a really soft look, just purely um, 
Where's my, here's my stamp, my, what to call it, vellum. Right. Softened it a bit, there we go. If I put some colour behind there. What do we think? Not sure. Not sure what I think. I will continue. Wondering if I should um, emboss, dry emboss the, the vellum to give that a bit of sort of crackle look. But um, I, I think it's the black I'm not keen on. I could do another one. Let's uh, let's just uh, which which is the right way up. Oops. Let's just clean that off. I'm going to cut it out, it won't matter, hopefully, says she. Let's do one more. What have I got here? What's this? This is a piece, this'll do. Let's put this on here. Here's the towel. Is it dirty on the back? Might be all right, okay. Um, where's my dye? done with that. Oh, here it is. Here it is. Right, let me just cut out another one of these to pop in. Not quite doing it the same way, am I? Let's just do it in here. I don't want to bother with the. I won't bother with the mylar. I'll just use the the, the card as the as the stencil. Okay. Let's just do it like this. Let's try again. Okay. Scattered straw. Okay. Now, dried marigold. I'm going to just dab a bit of this off first of all. Juicy that um, dried marigold. Let's blend this in. Perhaps I'll try a little um, even deeper colour in the middle. Let's just do uh, some abandoned coral. Marmalade and coral. Just trying to feather this a little bit, very gently. another bit of vellum. I think maybe 
That's a thick piece of vellum. If I use a, a thin, have I got a thin piece of vellum? I've got this vision of a, a really soft, um, softly pastel shade, and um, what do we think of this? That's quite pretty, isn't it? Let's take that out of the way. That's kind of more what I had in mind. It hasn't got the, the definition of um, of the other one. Perhaps I could put some of those little tiddly bits on the, on the wings of this, just in the in the, the abandoned coral. Let's see what that looks like. Pop this back in. Here's my little doodad. Now I need another. A skinny one of these. Let's just see. This might be ruining it, ruining it again. This little bit here. I think this looks a bit sort of um, artificial somehow. I don't know if you know what I mean. It just feels too regulated, if you know what I mean. I wanted something kind of soft and... Oh, let's see what that side looks like. Where's the... Might do. I'll finish the other side now. I've done one side. I've got to do both, haven't I? Can't go around with a lopsided butterfly. There's that one, the one I was looking for. And this little one here. This looks very like the, the the bits that were on the the pink fresh um, stencil, which is a, a five part stencil, in fact. Okay. That's quite sweet, isn't it? If we put that on the top. And we have a, I'll probably cut a, a body from a bit of here, perhaps. Where did the body go to? The story of my life, should have put it on my little handy gizmo, shouldn't I? I don't know where it's gone. Oh, there it is. There it is, let me throw these cloths away because these are a bit dirty now. Right, let's just cut one of these from there and see what he looks like. Is it, do I fancy that one? That might be quite nice. It's got a variance of colour. Let's just see. Let's see. See what we think. That's quite nice, isn't it? So, I will make a card or two, sort out these things, and uh, I'll put the, the finished card on my the community tab of my YouTube channel. I don't actually understand how people come to my community tab without knowing about my videos, because often people have commented and said, 
no video where's the video and I, I i just don't understand how it works to be honest it seems really kind of strange to me so anyway i will finish the card and i'll put it on my instagram page chrissy job i'll put it on my facebook page and i'll put it on the community tab of my youtube channel so there you go have a lovely day and thank you so much for watching